Our passage for today is the same as last week's, 2 Timothy 3.16. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. I'm holding my camera today so that I can show you this. This is a Greek New Testament. Here we are in the Acts of the Apostles. There's chapter 16. And this Greek comes from hundreds and thousands of manuscripts that would have looked something like this. This is one called Olive. Now, from time to time in those manuscripts, there are differences. And that's why we have this here. This is called the apparatus. It helps us to know which manuscript says what a little differently. Now, as you page through the New Testament, you might think, oh man, there's a lot of those little differences. That doesn't seem good. And yet, here's the thing. The vast majority of those differences are things like one manuscript says Christ Jesus, and another says Jesus Christ. Or a word is spelled different, or some of the words in a sentence, is a sentence are uh, ordered differently. Now, most of those differences aren't significant at all. The ones that we would want to put a little bit more study into, well, we can fit all of those onto a single sheet of paper like this, and we don't even have to make the font all small. And here's the kicker. The number of those differences that are significant that change a single doctrine of Scripture, there isn't a single one. None of the manuscript differences change a teaching of what the Bible says. All Scripture is God-breathed. He did that and then he preserved his word as well, so that it can tell sinners like us how we might come back into the presence of God through his son Jesus, who suffered and died for us and gave us the gift of forgiveness and eternal life in his name.